You're listening to To Hatch a Pod with Key Budge, Corey Costello, Greg Garrett, and Ashley Whitmore. It's To Hatch a Pod time. Key Budge, Claire Scotty today. Claire, how are you? I'm doing good. I'm getting very comfortable in the studio recently. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, I was just telling Maya. So in the background today, we have Maya Acosta. She is our new community engagement specialist that's a part of my team. And so she's getting to kind of view what we're doing today. And I was explaining to her that about, it's almost 18 months, maybe a little less than a year and a half ago, you and I got together and said, hey, let's talk about things on the weekend. It's kind of the birth of what this this version of the podcast is and we have done it every single week i think we did we, we miss we one? missed one snow day yeah yes we We're, couldn't get in and, and the whole weekend was snowed out anyway so yeah <laughs> there was no activities that weekend but uh, it took an act of god for us to to miss a show yes i love that yeah and then we've been here every week and oh, you have been I have been away, and you've had uh, Corey and Ashley as co-hosts, and Maya will sit in here here in the future. So you're the consistent one. You're the <laughs> one that does all the work, and we want to know what's happening this weekend in Tatchby. Well, thank you very much. I do my best. And this week, there is a lot happening. Get ready. Get your calendars out because there's a lot happening throughout September as well. So you might want to be calling some folks to get your reservations for some events coming up, or you might just be ready to go out and do something fun this weekend. So let's start with our vineyards. Okay. Okay. So Tehachapi Winery, they have their happy hour on Friday from noon to six, and that's 20% off all wine purchases. If you are already a wine club member, you get an extra 10. So that's 30% off. So that's a happy Friday right there. That's it. Great way to kick <laughs> off the uh, Labor Day weekend. Yes. Ha-ha. Saturday, we have Matt Lawson playing from two to five. And then on Sunday, Hourglass Effect will be there from two to five. They will have Mosner sandwiches on Sunday and charcuterie all throughout the weekend. On September 23rd, they have a really fun mud volleyball tournament. This will start at noon, and they have a co-ed team structure. So it's going to be super fun. It's their way of kind of sending out the summer in a really fun way. So if you're all about volleyball or getting dirty or just going out and having fun with your friends, Please call 661-821-9587 to get your spot. All right. Tatchby Wine and Cattle Company has their happy hour this Friday, and Mike Heckathorn will be playing from 3 to 6 on that day. On Saturday, Holy Crow Jazz Band will be there from 2 to 5. Sunday, Eve Morgan will be playing from 2 to 5. And Tatchby Wine and Cattle Company will be open Monday for Labor Day. All right. So head on over there and keep the party going. Joey Kuntz will be playing that day from 2 to 5. And then they will have their normal menu, which is tri-tip sandwiches with potato salad or chips, charcuterie, sangria, shrimp cocktail, summer salad with a tri-tip barbecue chicken or shrimp topping. And so we know that's always something that you can rely on every weekend. And then, mark your calendars, Friday, October 6th, from 5 to 8 p.m., they're doing a murder mystery masquerade. Ooh, dinner. that should be fun. Yes. So uh, get out your masks and your um, attire, right? Get dressed up, have fun with it. And that's going to be a really fun, spooky way to get fall started. So you go over and, and talk to Attach Me Wine and Cattle Company for more information. They don't have things quite ready to book just yet, but mark your calendars, and I bet I'll have more information next week. Perfect. Dorner Family Vineyard has another Labor Day weekend planned as well. They have Saturday from noon to 3, Heft and Wilson will be playing. From 3 to 6, Journey in Time will be picking it up and playing for the rest of the day. Sunday at 2 o'clock, Eastbound will be playing, and they will have pulled pork meals, chicken salad sandwiches, charcuterie, gelato, wine slushies, award-winning wine, all kinds of good stuff all throughout the weekend. And then September 16th and 17th, coming up quick, is Oktoberfest. We know that there'll be beer, there'll be brats, there'll be pretzels, there'll be a German band, there will be vendors, there will be award-winning wine. It's always amazing. So make sure you get there earlier in the day at noon to get your parking spot. And have a good day. And then September 29th is their next ladies' night coming up. 
We'll have Pokey Express there. Marlon McKee will be DJing. There will be a hat bar, a mini manicure section, so you can get some mini manicures. And there will be vendors for shopping. And again, Key, I know you really, really want to go to these lady night, ladies' nights, but it's ladies only. You know, okay, you remember this. <laughs> I did call Michelle Dorner. And ask her, I know it's ladies night, but is it okay if I win? I was going to be the designated driver. And they go, no, <laughs> no, you no. can't go. I was going to take my <laughs> wife and, and a couple of her girlfriends. And she goes, no, it, it's not happening. It's in the title, <laughs> ladies night. Ladies night. That's right. <laughs> Good memory, Claire. Thanks for bringing that back up. You know, there's this important things I remember. <laughs> Uh, so if any of those events sound like something you want to do, you have to get reservations for ladies night. So call Dorner 661-747-3395. Over at Triassic, we have charcuterie all throughout the weekend. They're open Friday, noon to six. On Saturday, they have Walt and Pam playing at 2.30. And then Sunday, Vince Galindo will be back and he'll be playing at 2.30. And you can also mark your calendar for September 23rd for Beatlemania, which is coming back. That show sold out very fast last time. I know they have a few seats left. So give them a call and get your reservation for September 23rd, 5 to 8 p.m., $35. Meals are included. That's 661-822-5341. And please remember that Los Viajeros, located on Highway 202, is open by appointment. Give them a call anytime and go over and get a tasting. And then Stray Leaves, right down here on Green Street, uh, they are open Thursday through Saturday, 3 p.m. to 8 p.m. Yeah, we had Cliff and Krista in the studio this week. So it's Yay. a future podcast, and we get the backstory on Stray Leaves Vineyards. Fascinating. I learned a lot. Ooh. You know, I, I learned about the, the Betsy's Reserve. I learned uh, more about his Mustangs and how all of this is integrated into the story of Stray Leaves Vineyards. It yes. was it was a great conversation. And I think one thing that uh, I think at, when we were all done, we said, what makes our wineries, our, our vineyards so special and our breweries as well is the special stories, the, the reason these people start these businesses, whether it was a hobby to start or it was business-minded, um, the backstories. Mm -hmm. It's what connects us to them. Yes. And if you go to any of the vineyards, I don't care which one, or the breweries, ask about the stories. How did yes. it start? And you will be fascinated, the uh, direction. And, and the conversation with Cliff was amazing. I, I love that. And Cliff loves coming over and talking to people as they're tasting the wine and sharing those stories, you know, person to person. And, you know, Kate, Kate is such a, a pivotal part of his life and, um, and his story with his winery. So as you walk by Stray Leaves Tasting Room, you'll see a mural on the corner. Lynn Bennett painted that mural and Kate, his dog, is painted in that. And so it's, I, I can't wait for you guys to hear it. I love a story and I can't wait to hear that episode because I'm sure there's more in there that I haven't even heard. So yeah, <laughs> it was, it was a great storytelling. And the funny thing is, is I'm, I'm listening and he's telling a story about, you know, something totally, I think we're talking about the grapes and how he, uh, you know, got started in cultivating and all of a sudden he, he mentioned something about the horses you know, most vineyards, they need to have space for a big tractor or a little tractor. I need a horse space for the horses. And then he went on with the conversation. I had to come back <laughs> and I go, hold on. What are you doing with the horses in the vineyards? Yeah. And they are an integral part of how he farms the vineyards. So he, he gets into that and we, we really kind of opened that up. But I thought it was very cool. Yeah. Um, it says a lot about him and his makeup and the care and effort that he puts into his bottles of wine. Yes. And it shows. Yeah. That's so exciting. All right. Make sure you guys tune in. <laughs> All right. All right. So brewery time. Brewery time. Okay. Yes. Local craft beer is open Thursday with their open mic night and cub and gut pizza will be there this week. Friday through Sunday, Lupita's tacos will be there. Saturday, hourglass effect is coming back and they will be playing. Every Wednesday, we have geeks who drink trivia night at 630. Old West Brewing is open Friday night with their open mic night with Thorne Ashton this week, starting at 6 p.m. Cub and Gut Pizza will be there again. 
And then Saturday, karaoke with DJ Tom starts at 5.30. Cub and Gup will be there, so you'll have plenty of opportunities to get that amazing pizza. Sunday, they have Sunday sessions starting up, and it starts at 6 p.m. This week, we have Freight Train Serenade by Jarrett Miner, and Mixie Snacks will be there starting at 2. And then West Lane, they have their paint night tonight, Thursday, with Mexi Snacks. Friday, Whole Shot Pizza will be there. Saturday, Poppy's Pastrami will be there. And Jake Schwartz will be playing. And every Wednesday, they have their open mic night. And this week, they had Poke Express. And then October 1st, they're going to have a Rocktoberfest. So lots of great bands, vendors, food, all kinds of really fun stuff. And that will also be taking place the same time that Thunder on the Mountain has been rescheduled. So why not, you know, as you're looking through all the cars and meeting all these great people, get a little hungry, maybe head over the tracks and head over to West Lane and see what they have going on over there. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, it's Discover Tehachapi time. This is the part of the show where I say... Tell us the story about Discover Tehachapi and why you know all of this information about our wineries and breweries. <laughs> Thank you, Key. Thank you for always giving me this, this few minutes of time to talk about my husband's and my journey with Discover Tehachapi. And so I know some of you that are listeners, you know that a few years ago we moved here to Tehachapi. We fell in love with the area and we started going to all these wineries and we thought, you know what? Someone is going to start a wine tour company. And we waited, we waited. And then Old Vineyard Charm, they, they got a bus and they got started. But we were also thinking like, hey, I wonder if we could do this. And so we, we got some funds, we got a bus, we started rolling with it. And it is something that Chris and I find really rewarding. We've had so much fun and we work really, really hard to create good relationships with all of our wineries, with all of our breweries and with other businesses in town. And so now when you come to us and you have an idea on, hey, can I do a custom tour? Can I put this whole idea together? Like maybe a brewery, maybe a winery, maybe bowling, maybe the theater. We can say, yeah, yeah, we can do that. And I love that we can do that because we have such great relationships with so many businesses out here. But our signature wine tour and our brew tour, we run those every single weekend. You can book 24 hours in advance. You can book with just yourself and we will run with as few as two people. So as long as there's other people on the tour and you just want to go by yourself, come on board. We create all of the meals in our commercial kitchen that is licensed with an A grade. <laughs> I'm very proud of that. And that way, if you have any dietary restrictions, we can make sure that we can adhere to those. So you don't have to worry about anything. So yeah, love that. Let's, uh, <laughs> how can, because I, I follow you and I'm able to watch some of these tours and, and you'll have a family together, or you can tell their families and friends, they're just having a good time and you capture some of those moments. How can people follow along? Thank you. Yeah. If you're a little hesitant or you have some questions, you can always follow us on social media and see what other people have said and what their experiences are. We're on Instagram and Facebook at discover to hatch You can always give us a call 661-235-5334. And then our website is discovertohatchby.com. Perfect. Okay. It is Labor Day weekend. Woo. So we've talked wineries. We've talked breweries. I think there's probably a few more things that are going on. It is the first of the month. It is. It is. So we have First Friday. And we always know that TVAA Gallery and Gifts always has a little something going on. The art... Um, collaboration with formerly Treasure Trove, they always have something going on too. So, and we have Bingo at the American Legion, Squadron yep. 221. They open the doors at four, Bingo starts at six. Woohoo! <laughs> always a good time. And then on Saturday, we have the Home Depot Kids Craft starts at 9 a.m. Always fun for the family to go and create something new, get some paint on you, go and get some breakfast afterwards. It's, it's always a good time as well. Our local library has their family craft at 11 a.m. on Saturday. 
And we know Tatchby Wine and Cattle Company will be open. Um, you know, our bowling, uh, Tatchby Mountain Bowling and P-Dubs, they always have really fun stuff going on. And so it's just a good time to, to travel around to Hatchby and see what you find. Yeah. As we're heading to fall, we're closing summer, heading to fall. Yes. <laughs> Later on in the month, we have September 9th, Woods Family Funeral Services or Woods Pavilion. They will have their 40th anniversary, and they're celebrating this with their Tehachapi Community Health and Senior Resource Fair. This will take place from 10 to 3. There will be a bounce house for kids. There's going to be kids' games. There's going to be a giveaway, a cruise for two. Claudia's Catering catering will be there. Hot Dog Company, uh, La Rosa's Frozen Fruit will be there. There's going to be a lot of wonderful resources for our seniors and for the people in our community that need a little extra help. So head on over and see what they have going on there on September 9th. And then later on in the day, Family Life Pregnancy Center is having a special dinner at Arosa Pines, and this is a wonderful fundraiser for them to really help bolster a lot of the programs they have for young families, young moms, and people that need a little extra assistance um, family-wise. And so they will have tickets available. They're $125 each. You can call 661-823-8255, and that will include wine or beer tastings, dinner and dessert, and there will be silent and live auctions as well. On September 9th as well, we've got Hula from the Heart at Red House Barbecue. This is a Rotary Club here that is trying to get proceeds for the Rotary Club in Maui. That's $45 a ticket, starts at 5.15 p.m. The show starts at 6.30. This is an authentic Hula show. So this is going to be a really good time. (laughs) And then all donations will be sent over to the Maui Rotary Club. Call 661-822-0772. Very good. Yeah. All right. Lots to do this weekend. Things that are getting planned for fall. I know TCTA, the Adams family's coming. Yes. That's going to be fun. Uh, Mm -hmm. So fall is going to be just as busy, I think, as summer was here in Tehachapi. Absolutely. And if you ever want to get more information, the Visitor Center is open, and they have lots of information. So you can go and get more information there and... The chamber is also open Monday through Friday, so you can swing by and get information there, too. And you know a little something about that. (laughs) I do. (laughs) The new executive director of the Greater Tehachapi Chamber of Commerce. (laughs) Well, thank you. (laughs) All all right, Claire. So let's uh, once again, let's recap Discover Tehachapi and how people can follow along. And if they decide they'd like to do something special, they can reach out to you. Yes, thank you. DiscoverTehachapi.com, 661-235-5334. Or follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Discover Tatchby. You guys are on TikTok. We're now? on TikTok. Chris has bitten the TikTok bug. <laughs> well, welcome. We have a TikTok account. We don't use it. I think Maya is going to uh, be tasked with coming up with <laughs> fun and creative uh, ideas for the city of Tatchby on TikTok. Awesome. Well, Chris has had a wonderful time with it. He's getting really creative, and he's having a lot of fun. And I do know recently he has started these tasting notes videos where he'll grab a local bottle of wine and he'll kind of walk you through the tasting process with it. And then what he's tasting, what he thinks it would be good paired with. And those have been really popular. And it's also really helpful because if you're not familiar with the wines up here, um, it's helpful to kind of know what is coming out of this area as it, well. That's a great idea because I was talking with someone the other day about, a matter of fact, I was down in LA talking, I was at a doctor's and I was talking with a doctor down in LA and I was describing our wineries and the fact that we have an AVA designation. And part of that is based on the fact that we're the highest elevation uh, vineyards in the United mm-hmm. States mm-hmm. at 4,000 plus feet. So they were fascinated by that, but then it was getting into, they want to know what kind of wines and, and the, di- the differences. So being able to send them to your TikTok page, <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, and catch <laughs> these tasting glimpses, I think that'll be cool. Yeah. All right. Well, well, excellent. <laughs> well, folks, uh, if you have a question or a thought, suggestion, or an event that you would like Claire to talk about, please send it to us at media at com. 
And Claire, thank you for gathering all this. It's a lot of work. If you don't get to see this, but she has pages and pages of notes that are updated every week. And she has to, she reaches out and contacts each of these individuals. So it's not just stuff that she just cut and paste. This is all, these are handwritten notes from conversations, effort, and time. And that's what you'll get, I think, with Discover to Hatchby too, is the effort that goes into this. Absolutely. <laughs> all right. All right, folks. Again, if you've got a thought, question, suggestion, media to HatchbyCityHall.com. Claire, thank you. Thank you. All right, folks. We'll catch you again soon right here on To Hatch Pod. To Hatch a Pod is a conversation about To featuring the community members who make this such a special place to call home. If you have a question or a thought you'd like to share, email media at tehatchbycityhall.com. Thank you to Gary Mazzola for sharing his song, This is To